Hey everyone, welcome to May's Lug Life. I'm May. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, if you've been here before, welcome back. Uh, on this channel, I give detailed tours of lug products, uh, ideas on how to use the lug features, and sometimes I will even compare various lug features that uh, lug puts into their products and even sometimes lug products themselves. Uh, stay tuned to the very end of this video to see the fact sheets that I will um, include. Uh, they're basically usually taken from the website itself and they will include specifics like um, measurements and um, weight uh, and all the different features that come with the bag. So I usually try to take them directly off the website so you can see exactly what Lug was offering at the time. So stay tuned for that. I will try to include them from the website. Sometimes I can't. Sometimes I have to get them from other sites if Lug has discontinued them and I can no longer find them. Uh, but I usually try to take these photos ahead of time so that um, I can do this in the future. So anyways, uh, this is going to be my review for Lug's gondola. So this this is the gondola here in Ocean Dot, I think it is. It uh, They don't make it anymore, and it was probably released around 2019. Um, I got this at the end of 2019 on clearance, and I believe that was sort of the end of the run. Uh, this is the regular gondola. There also was a gondola XL, which was obviously bigger, um, and it also came with an insulated pouch, like an insulated zipper pouch. Uh, this one does not come with that. It's a little bit smaller overall. Uh, these, this line came out with bright colors with the dots. The larger one came out in solids and, and prints, but they were um, darker colors. Um, the reason why I'm actually reviewing a product that Lug no longer makes that's sort of been discontinued, I think you might still be able to get some of them in the XL. But this one is practically impossible now. Once in a blue moon, you'll see Lug sort of throwing one color out there. I guess they find them in storage somewhere. Um, but I'm basically doing a review of older products simply because I know that as time goes on, it gets harder and harder to be able to actually see products that uh, Lug used to make. So uh, some people I know are able to find are lucky enough to find things on secondhand uh, apps like Poshmark and things like that. Uh, but by the time you get there, there, there really isn't much information left. So if you're wanting to know more, because oftentimes I know those photos aren't great, or they show you photos, but you know, you don't get a real good sense of what the bag is all about. So I'm allowing people who are still looking for uh, information potentially in the future, or even now, if they're considering buying this bag and they can't find any more information, then here it is. So I hope it's helpful for you. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned at the end so you can at least see um, the actual measurements. I'm not including them here. What I've actually done is I actually used this bag uh, about a week ago. Um, I had to suddenly uh, teach a private lesson, a private dance class. I'm a dance teacher for the first time in a long time. So I had to throw a bunch of things into a bag really, really quickly. And this was the only bag that I had. So I had to sort of stuff it. And um, so this was what I did with it. And I'm hoping that it'll give you a good sense of what kind of goes into it and how it works. So I'm going to take you on a tour of the outside of the bag first, show you all the details, take you on the inside and all the features that are inside and how I packed it so you can see just how big it is. And I'm going to talk about my overall opinion of it. So uh, as you can see right off the bat, those of you who are new to Lug, then I'm going to show you the very first thing, which is the um, cell phone pocket. There's a magnetic tab up here and it is um, the signature pocket that almost all lug bags have especially the newer ones uh, it goes kind of about down to about there uh, it is fleece line so you can see fleece line on both sides so you don't have to put your phone in there you can put like jewelry or anything like your sunglasses or your readers something you really don't want to get scratched up there is a tiny little magnet right here and right there and that just snaps together. So it's really good for easy access. Right underneath that is a zipper and the zippers are really good and smooth. This is just a regular pocket. Uh, it just has that nylon interior. Uh, it's about maybe about eight inches wide. Uh, the pocket goes all the way down to the very bottom of the bag and is about there. So there's no organization in this at all. So there's no slots or holders or anything. You can just put anything in there. I think you probably could put a small e-reader in there or um, an iPad mini, um, but it's not fleece line. So you're definitely going to, <laughs> you're getting a visit from my cat <laughs> who is going to try to uh, take over. Hi, Chloe. Excuse me, I'm doing a video. 
Um, I think she's hungry. I'm just going <laughs> to move her over. Um, anyway, so um, I did not expect she's going to come back, I think. Um, so that's the, um, the front. I'm so sorry. Then the back of it um, has another zipper in the back. It's a little bit smaller as far as the um, opening. Uh, and it doesn't go quite as deep. Well, actually, no, it goes, I guess about, it goes about the same depth. But inside this, there's a little bit of an organizational uh, sort of system going here. Uh, there are two, I don't know if you can see this, sorry. I had to adjust because of the cat. Um, two pen slots over here. Uh, and then there's another little pocket here. And it is, uh, sorry, fleece lined on the one side and it's just nylon on the back. It's not a very big pocket. It probably would fit, uh, I don't know, earphones, bracelets, uh, like it's a jewelry, that kind of thing. Uh, and that's about it. So otherwise it's just a cat, just an open uh, pocket there. Uh, it's not fleece lined on this side. So that's the zipper there. Uh, and then the back of this, just underneath the zipper is actually a luggage strap. So if you want to put this over top of a spin, like a, like a, like a wheelie, with a handle, you can put it over top of the wheelie handle and sit this on top of your luggage. So if you want to use this as a personal item or a carry-on item, you could throw this on top of your luggage. So let's go to the bottom. This is one of my favorite things. Oh, everything's gonna spill. Uh oh, here we go. All right, so um, the bottom of this bag is plastic lined and it's also got four little nubby feet so that you can wipe it down. So if it happens to get into a little bit of water or whatever it is, you can just wipe it off. You don't have to worry about ruining a really good bag. So, um, so that's the exterior. Oh, one more thing, I guess, is um, the rubberized grip on the handle. So it's just on the inside. There's two seams on the outside and there's a little bit of rubberized sort of grip there so that it's supposed to keep that on your shoulder. It's on both sides. It's only on, sorry, it's on both straps, but only on the one side. So the one side is that nylon. The other side has the rubberized strip. So there you go. I hope you can see that. Okay. So I'm going to take you on the inside. So I'm going to show you how I pack this. Um, I basically just didn't unpack it. <laughs> well, I did a couple of things because I had to get to it, but um, overall I didn't really unpack it. I just sort of wanted to show you what I was able to get into it. So there's my iPad. It's an iPad Air 2 with a really big chunky, uh, <laughs> a really big chunky uh, case. So that fits. There's, there is a pocket, but it, just the way that because it has no shape, I couldn't quite get it into that pocket. Um, a thin sweater. Oh. Uh, uh, my portable Bose speaker, the, oops, the, um, sorry, a uh, pair of uh, Capri pants, so I could wear that after I finished teaching. There's a coupe in here. Um, I kept my um, hand sanitizer while I was teaching in that. Uh, this is my roundabout, and it's packed, packed, packed. This is basically my office slash cash register uh, slash filing cabinet slash tech center that I keep all of my uh, chargers and my cash in case I need to give someone change. Uh, and then over here, I have uh, alcohol sanitizer. If you're seeing this in the future, I'm taping this during the pandemic. So um, I had to keep that with me just in case I had to sanitize a spot. And then the very, very bottom here is a bag with uh, my dance shoes, my teaching shoes. So it's basically kind of like a, I don't know, a pair of running shoes, the equivalent of maybe, a, well, it's a little bit smaller than that. So that's how big that is. That fit right at the bottom. Um, and then there's also a water bottle. I'm gonna leave that there because I'm gonna talk about it in a minute. Um, I've got some masks here. I've got stickers because I was teaching a little kid. I thought maybe I could use that for motivation. And then over here, I've got some TheraBands. Okay, so now I'm gonna take you on the inside. So that's kind of what I was able to get into it. Uh, so now I'm gonna take you on a little tour of all the different features here. First of all, how cute is that? Live life in color. They put on the, they print that on the inside. So on this side, um, there are three cargo pockets. So there's one here, goes all the way down to the bottom. And I don't know if you guys are aware of how big a Bose speaker is. I probably could have fit that in there, but I didn't really want to because I had a bunch of other things I wanted to squeeze in there. So um, they're a little bit padded. So each, lo each level has a little bit of padding on each one. So I've got some masks in there. There are two pen slots 
right in there. So there's two more pen slots in this bag. So I guess you can carry up to four. And then there's another, just a regular slot down there. So there's no organization except for those two pen slots there. Um, this is a mesh pocket here. So it's completely breathable. Uh, there's a little bit of a gusset. Uh, you can see that there's a little bit of a gusset, so it does come out a little bit. So you can kind of stuff this. Uh, I've just got a bunch of Therabands in there. So that is, um, so that only goes halfway and that pocket goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. Then on the other side of the bag, you have what I was trying to say earlier, a little pocket, which I think at the time was probably supposed to fit um, an iPad. I think iPads were a little bit smaller back then. This one also has a little bit of a, a fleece line on the one side. This is just nylon on the back, but this one side is fleece lined. So I guess back then when iPads were a little bit smaller, you can probably still get a mini in there at this point. Uh, this is the reason why I got this bag. This has an actual pocket for water bottles. I hope you can see that. Um, so it goes all the way down to the bottom and it has a whole separate gusset. It's rounded. Um, and it's meant specifically for water bottles. So you can actually have a little sleeve for it inside your bag. So you can always know where it is. It's got a little bit of an elastic around, around the whole edge. But the cool thing about this is it's actually plastic lined. So if you, you can hear the crinkle there, um, it's plastic right there. So I hope you can see that as well. So that's plastic all the way down to the bottom. So I guess if you spill or if it gets a little bit sweaty, you're not ruining the rest of your bag. Um, I definitely have bottles that leak. I'm not gonna put that back in. So every once in a while, I do have a bit of an issue with some of my stuff getting a little bit sticky if I'm carrying iced tea or getting wet. Um, so this allows you to be able to carry a water bottle separately and keep it sort of out of the way and be able to grab it really quickly whenever you need it and also be able to clean it up if there's a problem. The cool thing about this is they kept the water bottle um, towards the opening, so which I kind of like because if it's buried back here, if I wanted to grab it, I have to open the entire zipper to be able to grab the water bottle. This, because the zipper, hang on here, I think I flipped the zipper twice here. Um, the zipper actually goes to about there. Oops, I didn't go all the way. So if I really wanted to, I could just open a little bit, grab my water and pull it back in without opening the entire bag. So, so that is what it looks like when it's zipped. So there is a bit of a gaping hole on the one side there and there's another hole back here. So it, does, it doesn't completely, completely close, but um, it does have a zipper. So I just didn't zip it because it was absolutely packed. I completely packed this thing the other day and there was no way I could zip it without possibly uh, breaking the zipper, which I didn't want to do. So, um, so that is the overall sort of all the different features on this bag. Um, I'm going to talk to you quickly about this bag. I bought this um, I'm really, really hoping that this is going to be the bag that I was looking for as a good tote. I love the shape. I love the color. I love the stitching on it. It wasn't too busy. Everything about it was perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, and then when I got it, it turned out it was way too small. Um, I carry a lot of stuff, but um, even when I don't carry a lot of stuff, this was difficult to carry because the drop on the handle is so small. Again, I'm just going to show you where the bows is. If you happen to know how big this bow speaker is, it's not very big. Um, it works as a as a bag over your shoulder in the summer, but if you happen to be using this, uh, sorry, I didn't even have that in in, in camera there. I'm so sorry. Um, there, that was the bow speaker. So uh, I'm so sorry about that. And um, yeah, so I was gonna say in the summer it's kind of okay, but in the winter, if I happen to have a thick coat, um, like a puffy coat that doesn't fit. It gets really tight and it gets really uncomfortable and it doesn't really stay on very well. So it's almost like you're wearing like a, like an underarm bracelet as opposed to a bag. So if you're wearing this in the summer, it's kind of okay. Uh, but it's still really, really tight under the arm. The other thing is when it's really, really packed and full, which I, I had, um, it was really difficult to get these two to sit together. Um, it was kind of wide open like this, which means one shoulder strap kept falling off. So I would have one strap on my shoulder and this one kept flopping down. So I really was only carrying it by one strap. And because it was gaping open, because I, I wasn't able to zip it closed, I was always afraid something was gonna fall out of it, especially since I had this guy kind of sitting on top because he wasn't gonna fit in the bottom the way I had packed it. So um, it was not this, it wasn't the most secure way to carry things. 
Uh, but it is really nice and squishy. But unfortunately, because it's so squishy, it also doesn't... Um, how do I put this? Because it has no structure, um, it kind of sat like a big ball underneath my arm. So it didn't really force the stuff that I put into it into a shape. It took the shape of the stuff. And because I had some awkward shaped things, I had this like sort of weird misshaped meatball under my arm and it was really uncomfortable. So that's how I've, I have, I've used this before a few times because I actually really tried to make this my bag and it never really worked out. So um, it didn't really work the way I hoped. It never really fit all the things I wanted. Uh, even with all the great organization and pockets, I could fit little things, but I couldn't get the big things to sit properly. The other thing I also discovered a while ago is this strap back here it's not huge. It's, um, I would say about six inches wide. So I have an, um, a wheelie bag that has a, a big plastic sort of rim around the top handle. So it was really hard to get over top. It just kind of sat on the edge. It didn't go all the way down so that this would sit properly on it. Uh, so if you happen to have one of those, it might be a little bit difficult. Um, if you want to use it as a personal bag, you're probably better off to just to carry it on your shoulder. The other thing is, um, it, even though it has a structured bottom, the whole bag itself is not structured. So I found that when it really gets packed, it gets really round. <laughs> um, so that when it's really, really, really packed, it doesn't actually sit too well on my wheelie bag. Um, I, I found that it, would, it sort of kind of flopped over a little bit and it didn't stay really well because I don't know if you can see this, but the bottom is not super, super wide. And if you stuff the bag really wide, it turns into, yeah, it kind of turns into a ball. So it might work depending on how you pack it. Maybe you pack it the way I did, didn't work at all. Um, so that I found was kind of annoying. The other thing about this is um, if you pack it too tightly and you can't, sorry, and you can't zip the bag and you can't get this over your shoulder, um, it was too low for me to carry just by the handle. I'm short, I'm about 5'3", so if I was just carrying this by the handle, it, it, it hung too low. So it was too short for a shoulder strap, too long for a, like a, like a hand, like a handle, like a top handle. So it never really quite worked out. Um, and um, I mean, I do love the bottom, but ev I mean, everything about it looks like it's gonna be great and it just didn't quite work out. Um, I still love it. I still love looking at it. It's probably still one of my favorite bags to look at. Um, I love all the, I, I love everything about it. It just didn't quite work out. Um, if you are looking for this style bag, Lug makes a lot of other tote bags that are very similar. They have similar layout as far as all the features. So you get the phone, uh, the, the cell phone pocket, you'll get an outside zipper, you get a trolley strap. Uh, it will have better uh, grip handles. I found that this grip handle wasn't all that good. You will get uh, the mesh, uh, the, the mesh pocket and the three little the little pockets over there. Um, the tech, I mean, this side tends to be a little bit different. So some of the bags have um, clear view pockets, some has a, a, a privacy. The only bag though that has this water bottle pocket seems to be this one. Um, so you won't get that anymore. At least they're not making it today, which is 2021. Um, but it's, yeah, I mean, there are, there are bigger bags. There are more, I guess, better shaped bags. And then one more thing, just to talk about the straps before I finish. Um, it is rubberized, but it actually doesn't keep it on your shoulder as well as it seems. So it's rubberized here, but it's not rubberized on the outside. And of course, when it, you're sitting on your shoulder and it's kind of heavy, this is what's actually touching your shoulder or your sleeve. And so because this is that slippery nylon fabric that they use for everything, this is actually what is sitting on your shoulder not this. It has to be pretty heavy and even still it doesn't, it's not a very wide surface area for that to grip. So I actually found that the straps didn't stay on too well. Like I said, when this was packed, only one of them stayed on, which was the one closest to my body. The one on the outside just kept flopping off and I kept having to hold the two together to keep the straps on. So that's kind of my overall impression of the peg. It was good. It's good for like, I think if you're going just on a car trip and you're just taking a few items in the car, or you're taking a few items to the beach, um, it's fine if you're not carrying a whole lot and you're not carrying it very far um, and it's in the summer. Otherwise, it doesn't quite measure up. 
Uh, I do have other tote bags that Lug makes that are better, that pack more, that seem to hold their structure better um, and have a much more comfortable shoulder strap. So there we go. I hope that helps you. Um, if you're making this purchase in the future and there's no information, I really hope that gave you all the information that you need. Um, if you have any questions, put a comment down below. I'll try my best to answer. Um, anyways, I hope that was helpful for everyone or at the very least kind of fun to see an older bag. Uh, have a great one and I'll see you the next time around. Thanks.